Dieter, Dieter. Hi, it's Heather. I have decided to do a series called Heather Reads Stuff because my pronunciation poem got a really good response and people really like my voice, apparently. So I'm going to read stuff. This book is one of my son's favorite books. It's called I'm a Truck. It's a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> But I can't read this book without putting on a stupid accent. Not that I'm calling people with the accent stupid, just that the way I do it is stupid. <laughs> you'll understand why. I'll read one page of my accent and then you'll see. Howdy, my name's Big Billy Bill and I'm a truck. I've got 18 wheels turning, 600 horses under the hood and 53 feet of trailer hanging out behind. And that is boring. So this is how I read it to my son. <coughs> Howdy! My name's Big Blue Bell and I'm a truck. I've got 18 wheels turning, 600 horses under the hood, and 53 feet of trailer hanging on behind. It's much better. If there's a stretch of asphalt between Big Tuna and the Big Apple, I've ridden, rocked, bucked, and bounced down it, carrying one heavy load or another. Now, the highway is a big place to call home. On country roads, I see tractors tilling the soil and pulling special contraptions that plant seeds. Come harvest time, huge combines cut and pluck and gather up all the good food you eat. Speaking of food, my fuel gauge is saying, Big Blue Bill, you are hungry. When that happens, there's no place like my favorite truck stop where I refuel and relax. Hey, there's Polar Bear Pierre. He's refrigerated to keep milk and meat cold. Tankatina holds gas and oil. And old Leaf, he's a logging truck. Look at Leaf, look. Leaf, he's hilarious. I may be the biggest truck on the road, but I'm not the only one. I can be halfway between nowhere and somewhere, and along comes Bony Tony. He's a trailer truck that carries cars and small trucks to local dealerships. Good golly, there's Mo with his tow truck. Looks like my buddy Earl is down on his luck. How you feeling, Earl? I've been better, Bill, but I'm all right. Detour? Well, with all these cars and trucks on the road, sometimes you just have to make more road. Meet some of my biggest buddies. Run Hill to the bulldozer comes through first. Clear the way. When she's finished pushing and shoving all that dirt, she calls her buddy Dirk, the dump truck, to carry it all away. Carl the Grater comes along next with his wide metal blade to carve out the shape of the road. Yo, Carl, you missed the spot. Dirty Al lays the asphalt, and ooh wee, that asphalt is hot, stinky, and sticky till it cools. Lazy Al is a heavy steamroller going right along behind him real slow to make the asphalt smooth as mashed potatoes. No bumps, no lumps. Hey boys, give me a lane and make it double wide. If you want to see trucks bumper to bumper, the city is the place to go. <coughs> How do you talk like this? But the last place I want to be is stuck behind a garbage truck. Ooh, wait, they make Dirty Al seem downright rosy. No matter what, I get out of the way fast when I hear a siren. Fire trucks, police cars, and ambulances have the most important job a vehicle can have keeping you safe. Firefighters put out fires with their big hoses and rescue people from tall buildings with their ladder trucks. Police officers direct traffic safely out of the way and if you get injured, you can just bet an ambulance will get you to the hospital mighty quick. I love skyscrapers because my best buddies build them. Tipper drives around all day mixing cement and Shorty, who's actually quite tall, lifts heavy steel beams so far into the air my wheels get wobbly just thinking about it. Pickups, bulldozers, backhoes and more all work together to build buildings so tall you'd think you could grab a piece of blue sky. Well, here we are, the docks. It's time to drop off my load. Forklifts and cranes will put my freight on a cargo ship and then it's off to parts unknown. Y'all be careful with that now. As soon as I'm unloaded, I get reloaded and then I'm off again. These ships have an exciting life on the high seas. But I'm a truck and my home is the highway, so I'd best be getting down to it. It's been real nice driving with you, partner. Next time you see a truck, you tell them Big Blue Bill said howdy. <laughs> that was I'm a truck by Dennis Sheely and published by Golden Books. If there's something that you would like me to read in my voice, I don't really do accents, that's just that book. Um, let me know and I will think about it. I think I'm gonna do this a couple of times, just I like my reading voice. Maybe some poems or short stories or whatever. See ya, bye. Firefighters put out hoses with their, put out hoses.